Okay, YouTube, I got that old compressor fired up in the service truck. Well, the breaker bar and pipe wouldn't do it, so I'm gonna use the big impact, see if I can get all those busted loose. Okay, YouTube, we'll be back here and now we'll back her into the shop. Not hopefully, hopefully not running into my camera, but we'll see. I guess there's always a possibility, right? Okay, YouTube, with a, with a torque multiplier, four to one torque multiplier. You can keep going, George. It's probably loose enough, we don't need a torque multiplier now, but with a four to one torque multiplier and a big old pipe and a breaker bar, we were able to get one bolt loose. So we'll get that one off and we'll work on that way and you see the hole right there. And uh, in fact, I'll show you guys what it looks like here. And, uh, yeah, grab that light. Oh, George, yeah. It, uh, see right there's a nut. It's got mud built up around it, so I gotta chisel all that out, but there's three bolts. One on each end, one in the middle. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. And that'll bolt the bolts, they're down. I can't get these down. I'll probably use heat to get those out later. I'm kind of afraid of damaging the scale, so I'm not going to mess with that, but we'll get the bolster off. Okay, YouTube, that was kind of stupid of us, but um, anyways, yeah, <laughs> probably wasn't the smartest move, but anyways, um, I figured it couldn't tip over the way I have it rigged, but it, you know, definitely leaned, that fought us. I probably should have used some chain and, and uh, instead of a cable and then sucked it up tighter so it couldn't tip, but anyways, I got to tip it over on its side and upside down anyways, um, so now we can weld spider nest there or something no, else piece of plastic anyways clean all this up but um now you can get a better visual here if i spin this around right there's a crack so all this is going to get ground out and then re-welded so 
I'm assuming it's cracked just from slopping the bunk and everything, but no really, no telling what really. So, um, anyways, now, uh, what to hop out, George? No. <laughs> um, now we can go ahead and pull the trailer out from behind this. And, uh, how about the way, George? Now we'll just pull the trailer out and we're gonna set this on the set of steel sawhorses right here. And uh, then we can rotate the bunk around, or the, yeah, the bolster, excuse me, around and then weld that out, so. Anyways, now I'm gonna set this down onto the trailer so it's not hanging in the air and uh, call it a night. All right, YouTube. I don't even know if I wanna show this on a video because that was kind of sketchy, but anyways, bunks off and uh, I'll show it just cause you know, people appreciate what we do. But you know, if I could do it again, which I will do it again when I reinstall it, it's gonna be a lot better. I'm gonna, I didn't think it was gonna tip as much with the cables up by the stake extensions that were running horizontally. So I'm gonna definitely do a better choke you know, set up there, probably run some chain or something with, you know, or even binders and get it all nice and square to reset everything down on. But anyways, now the weight's off the crane, it just sat in there. Um, it can't go anywhere, it's all hooked up still, but a um, couple days here, not this weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, but this week I'll pull the trailer out and uh, we'll get it all welded up and I'll, that'll be a different, different video for a different day. But all right, YouTube. Stay safe, have fun. Talk to you later. Say bye, George.